Hi there. I saw somebody ask on a Facebook group about how to make top bar hive bars. Um, I'm new at this, and uh, this is my my first hive that I'm making. What we want to make are these. Um, this is sized for 15 inches uh, within the hive body, with a one and a quarter inch ear on each side, three eighths of an inch thick, and a 45 degree cut here. And this is how I make them. Um, I make them on the table saw, and uh, I think I have my system worked out. What we do is we start with a, uh, a scrap of, of two by whatever. And what we're going to do is cut that, cover that up and not distract you, cut that into triangles like this. And then we cut the... Uh, uh, cut one side off to make it one and nine sixteenths. We start at one and three quarter, and then we make it one and nine sixteenths, and then we cut the other side off and make it the required one and three eighths. And we want to start with the whole thing being 17 inches long. So, here we go. I've got my board marked for 17 inches. And I'm very careful about which side of the saw I'm on. So now we have our, our stock piece. I have the saw set up with a 30 degree from vertical. Um, and because we want that one and three quarter, we need to take half of that, which is seven eighths. So this distance is seven eighths. And figuring out my camera stuff, that looks like it'll work. Let's see how much sawdust I throw at you. Safety glasses. And now I've got some knots in this, and they really shouldn't matter that much because. It will make it so that some of my, my rips are no good, but some of them are. And I could also take this final rip and carefully run it through again and get one more there. But just because I want to do this quick to show you how. If I were doing this production, then I would do a whole bunch of them like that, and it would go much faster per than doing them individually. But, so now, I'm going to set it to one and, and nine sixteenths. Take off one second. to one and three eighths and there's one side off so now I'm going to take off the other side so now we have something that's starting to look like a top bar it's the right width all we need are the ears on it do that. I like to move this over and I'm going to set this to 45 degrees. I'm going to bring the blade up and the blade needs to come up 
one and an eighth, maybe one, so that it just takes the bit that I want there, and one and a quarter. So about like that. And this is freehanding it a little bit, and you know, many people would say use a guide, and uh, well, here goes. seems to work better if I put the fence on the wrong side but um, so now we've got I want this at one and a quarter which is about there I've got a very narrow slot here and I want to keep keep a little bit of wood on the the red there um, Again, always be very careful where your fingers are. Now I see that as I did that, the, um, I got it a little crooked, and I have a one end, the ear is, is a little slanted. And it could get trimmed just a little bit, but the bees will work with that. Um, and that's how I make them. <laughs> 